So hello, and welcome to another day of the apocalypse. We're actually in January now for this. Well, it's not January, right? No, it's now. not. No. Okay, you're going to have to watch these for next fucking year, because right <laughs> now I'm winterizing this freaking place. Okay, so why do I have this bucket over my faucet? I think I told you this, guys, last spring when I took this off, because otherwise Goldie eats the foam thing that's perfectly good. Oh, so it's over the foam thing over the faucet? Yes, because otherwise... Goldie eats it. Lovely. So she doesn't eat the big bucket. She can't eat the bucket, or at least she hasn't yet. And I just kind of screw it. You want to make sure when you're screwing anything in a wall next to electrical wire or plumbing, plumbing. that you're not putting it into pipes or wiring. Yeah, that would be wise. Okay, so I'll show you what. Watch those holes. Those are also courtesy of Goldie. Goldie, yes. Oh, while we're here, I want you to come over and get for a minute. Quit it! Because not only these dogs, assholes, which they are showing. Yes, right now. Right this minute. But let me show you. Because I'm sure that a lot of you think, oh, Selena says animals are assholes. And she says things like they cross their legs and come in front of the barn and shit. But none of those things. Get out of the way. She's just saying that for the comedy factor. Okay, well, let me show you what these fucking goats, these goats have been here less than a week. Yep. I moved it because there was more green grass in this pasture than the other one. Right. Which is the reason why... Okay, if little just pan around on the ground, you will see. Do you see that? Okay. What? Oh, she can't see that. I know how, but not, I need two hands. Okay. There's shit all over the steps. Now, why do they have to shit on the steps where I have to walk? Because they're assholes! <laughs> yeah, all over the steps. Look at this. Look all around here. Remember I cleaned all this up? Yep, that's Look at all this. shit. Little pellets. This is one week's worth. Whole pasture. Whole pasture. The fucking bitches cross their legs, come over here and shit. Yep. Oh my goodness. They quite made quite a deposit. I'm not kidding. Nope. I mean, it is funny, I guess. But it's not funny when you have to clean the shit No, up. it's not. Bastard. <laughs> they really are assholes. Well, and the reason why there wasn't enough grass was because I had that whole pasture full of grass when I moved them from this pasture to this one. Right. The billy goat was with them for six weeks. Right. He ate everything. everything. I got everything. You. Bert, d b dog, quit. She's sitting on my feet, so I can't move. Not that she's kind she's of an, an asshole. asshole. We're going into the garden? Yeah, we're going into the garden. Okay, well, I will go ahead of you because you outpace me. Okay, go on to the garden. I've got to actually get something from the shop. She has Here. to get something from the shop. So, this is um, the next day after the video where we... Two days, I think. After the video where she was pulling up beets and tomato plants and everything. And after we finished filming, I stayed out with her and we pulled up all the tomato plants and all of that stuff in preparation. There's a stack of stuff that will get burned later. I'm sure she'll tell you all of this. Oh, how cool. I see what she's doing or has done. I love this, Selena. Too cool. All right. So are you ready? Yep, I'm ready. Okay. Are you on? I'm on. Okay. So you've seen my strawberry tower before. Strawberries, depending on where you live, and especially with towers, you have to worry more about cold than you are when they're on the ground. And so what I do is I found these burlap sacks. What was funny about these burlap sacks is they were, they had a bunch of them at a railroad damage store. And right before the holidays, I went and bought my son a bundle of them for like five bucks. And then my son gave me a bundle. <laughs> Not that you think so, much alike. There you go. I wonder how that happened. Okay, so the nice thing was though that I figured out that this burlap sack 
will go right over the top of my whole planter. And what that kind of does is it kind of keeps it through the winter and keeps my strawberries from getting too cold. And because it's burlap and it breathes well, it doesn't make the mildew, which mildew will kill strawberries pretty quick. So you kind of want to... It also won't overheat them on days when there's sun. Them. It won't. They, they will still get some sun through the cloth. It won't overheat them. It won't... Keep but it keeps all the heavy frost and ice off of them. Uh-huh. That's the snow awesome. And ice snow is and ice. Ice yeah. is the killer because again, I said mildew. Yeah. And ice and snow will actually cause mildew. And I got to pick up all my fake snakes. <laughs> I got all the rest of them picked up. And this one. I already picked the rubber snakes up because about halfway through the summer when they no longer are scaring anything because they're covered with plant, the only thing they're scaring is me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, did that. Like I said, we're getting ready for a real cold snap tonight. I usually only cover up this much of my Swiss chard. This year I'm thinking about going and getting some more windows and covering probably the whole row, but for tonight, just in case, it takes a really hard continuous freeze to kill Swiss chard. So it should be okay. Um, but what it is, is it's two old windows that somebody threw away. Mm -hmm. And this year, one of the panes got broken when the tree fell. And so I had to fudge in another piece. But oh. it'll, and I'll get, I'll later on, uh, when it gets super cold, I will close up both ends. Aha. But if I extend it, I'll just close up both ends of the, of the whole thing. Super long one. So hopefully it's not going to freeze hard enough tonight. So does it open up my switch? Does it open at the top when you need to get it out, or how do you get it out? Well, that's the thing about long making it longer. Yes, because the way I've got it now, I can get down and by removing the piece that I put in the front and the back. Right. Which I usually just hold up with those little stakes. Uh huh. I usually find a pane of glass and I just stick it in there and I stick that in front of it. Then yeah, I yeah. just pull the pane of glass out without even moving these. Yes. And um, then I just get down there and I can pick from one end to the to next. To the next. That's the problem with making it any longer than Then that. you can't do that. Because how do you get Now, hopefully next year, I will not have any need for that. Hopefully next year, I will have Your built greenhouse. that greenhouse. Yes. Yes. So, that will be awesome. If I have a greenhouse, I will probably keep the cold frame because why the hell not? Right. But I probably will not be doing that anymore because I'll be growing lettuce and Swiss chard and stuff like that in the greenhouse. Right. And a tomato and whatever. Well, I've got a tomato in the... I know, in the solarium, but I'm just saying... But no, I want... I want to grow the tomatoes in aquaculture. I haven't tried it yet. I don't know if it'll work, but it's worth a try. That would be neat if it just does work. Well, I'm putting fish in a tank in there. I'm putting the tank in there to heat it. Right. So, okay, so I've got to put on this one. Okay, so here's the thing. Do not leave your hoses. If you don't do anything else, if you don't cover your faucets, you don't do any of that, do not leave your hoses connected for the winter. Your hose is connected, it's going to break your freaking faucets every time. Also, if you can keep from it, don't leave your hoses on the ground for the winter. Do they freeze worse there or what? It just makes them more brittle. They, they age faster. Oh, okay. Okay, it makes them more brittle. Okay. For instance, okay, so I made this a bazillion years ago. Just take a picture of my ass. Again. Yes, of course I am. Okay, I made this a bazillion year go years ago, this well house, mm -hmm. because I had a faucet that was just in the middle of the lawn. Right, right. So I built all this around the faucet. So that's what this is. And it's, and it's ancient. I, I built this, one of the first things I built on this property. Well, why I did I build it? I'll tell you why. Because I was out here weed eating one day, as I had done four billion times before, and I accidentally hit the plastic pipe that was sticking out of the ground. And when I did, it started spraying water all the way across the yard, and we found out the only way to turn it off 
was over there. Yeah. And I didn't have a water key. Yeah. So I had to run to the freaking hardware store and get the parts to fix it. And then I had to fake a water key with a crescent wrench and a, um, God, what did I turn it with? I took a piece of pipe and I flattened it out uh -huh. and stuck it over the handle of the crescent wrench. Later on, I'd be on a job and find a damn water, water key. key. So I have one now. Okay, so this is kind of a weird faucet setup. I've talked about this before. This is what happened. I put in a freeze-proof faucet. Yeah. 15 years later, the motherfucker broke. Froze, yeah, concept. No, it didn't fray, freeze. Oh, the it inside parts broke oh, out of both right. of them. Both of that's them. That's right, that's they right. They were supposed to be 40-year faucets. They yeah. managed to make it on this farm about 15 years. This one died first, and then that one died. So I jerry-rigged this together, which we already talked about, so I won't talk about it again. But I put a cap on it, because this one has a tendency to leak. Ah. Okay, so it doesn't really, this little thing does not want to fit there. You might notice this all duct taped together. No. Yeah. So what I like to do is stuff some of this uh, old noodle foam. Oh, pool noodle? Pool noodle foam. I like to stuff it kind of around the faucet to just kind of help keep it warmer because this doesn't fit as tight as I would like. Okay, so I kind of do that. And then I got, these are easy to use. Let me tell you something about these. Okay, so these are easy to use. They work really well. If you get them in the spring or at the end of insulating, you can usually get these for 98 cents a piece. Wow, okay. And if you take care of them, you can use them year in and year oh, out. Oh, the loop goes over the faucet. The loop goes over the neck of the, the faucet. The neck of the faucet. Then you pull this back. Look how easy this is. Oh my goodness. It's got a little button. Oh, okay, it tightens. You push the button and you pull it up and now it's all tight except it came off the of faucet. Course. Because I'm happen. making a fucking film. That's why, yes, of course. Get rid of it! <laughs> You, you are not making me look brilliant. I'm just saying. Okay. Let's try that again. Once more with feeling. Okay. You have to keep the tension on it or it falls off the faucet. I did that to teach you. That was a teaching, <laughs> teaching moment. That was a fucking teaching moment. And so now, finally, we're winterized. Yay. We're ready. Everything's been closed up. We do this in stages. Close up the house first, because yeah. it's going to be cold and you don't want to heat the outdoors. And then you watch those. When you know you're going to get a hard freeze, everything's got to be done then. That's what we did. Awesome. So thank you. Thank you. Go and buy some books. Yes, please.